What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about eFootball. Not eFootball 25 because it's not going to be called eFootball 25. It's simply going to be changing from eFootball 2024. The brand new update is going to be simply eFootball or eFootball v4.0. I don't know. It's just called eFootball um, going forward. Now, Konami have actually updated us on schedule changes and they've said that the large scale maintenance will be going on from 10 a.m. next Wednesday, the 11th of September to 8 a.m. on the 12th of September. So Wednesday, it looks like the game is going to be completely offline as they do the maintenance and they, you know, bring in the version 4.0. The game is currently at V3.6, I think. It's going to be going to V4.0. And that's going to usher in the brand new eFootball update, basically, which eventually, it is, for all intents and purposes, look, it's eFootball 2025, essentially, right? But it looks like the game is going to be offline for about 24 hours or so, okay? Now, they had changed it because they said that they were still going to be able to log in and buy cards and whatever. They've changed that now with the schedule change here. And they said that the new maintenance and the old maintenance and all this, right? And they said that they've, they've already kind of changed this here in this notice here, right? But also, on as, as well as that, right? We did have a tweak go up from the official Konami, uh, we Konami, official Konami account on Twitter, Okay. And you will see the graphic here at the bottom. The text is not really important. It's just linking you to this notice. That notice is already in game that we just looked at, okay? But this is what's important here. This eFootball graphic. So they've dropped the eFootball 2025, 2024 moniker. It's simply eFootball now across all devices. And this looks like the mock-up of the design um, here of the actual new color scheme, the new color palette they're going to be going for. I'll be honest with you, lads, right? We'll get, a, we'll get a, a proper look at it here, right? So that looks like it, right? That looks like it in full screen there, and it's, like, obviously hyperimposed here. And that looks like it's going to be that. Now, the first thing I saw when I saw this was I thought it was just kind of like a placeholder. I thought that it was just kind of like a placeholder in terms of the actual design they were going for in terms of the buttons, right? But the more I kind of look at it, it does actually make sense for how they actually will color code the game. And I'll show you what I mean, right? So this is a mock-up that I have done myself where it, it will either be in the background, as you see there. So obviously you have the original here, right? And the original has been like this for, I don't know, for ages, right? That's the original there. So you've got the, you know, the kind of the, the blue and the blacks and the greys kind of going through it. And then obviously the new mock-ups that you have there are the ones that I just showed you. They also could do with the buttons, right? So they might obviously change the buttons and have the background a little bit darker. Or we have another mock-up here that we just saw there a second ago, uh, which was this one here. One second, boys. I'm still figuring out how to use this OBS every now and again, lads. Um, yeah, this design here. So this one that you see here, is kind of like obviously the buttons have stayed the same they might obviously like take away a different hue or saturation with the buttons but this is just a mock-up that i did personally speaking right if you actually go into the game itself and you go in here you will see that the way that they have the players um number one they have all the boosters so the boosters you've got messi's booster here which is the purple or the pink right that ties in with that you've also got the blue booster You've got the player of the weeks that have the orange booster, such as the Bri or the green booster, such as the Brine. And then you have the J League booster as well, as well as some other special ones that you had that are the orange booster. Okay. So that does kind of tie up with this here. Um, with this with this kind of here. It also ties into the player stats. So for example, here, if you look at the player stats, you've got you know the hues of orange, yellow, green uh light blue or highlight blue and then you've got the red for the low stats so it does tie into that there and also yellow yellow has always been prominently featured in pez and eFootball games ever since they've launched so you know the collective strength is in yellow you've got Vieira's name is in, in yellow um but yeah for me i don't know man i don't know it looks a little bit simplistic for me especially if you were to have the mock-up like that but those colors do look a little bit simplistic in other news, we do have it, obviously, that Inter and AC are going to be coming to the game because they're not in EAFC. Um, and we have a couple of other legends that have not been announced yet. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts on it. It's just kind of a quick video. We're, we're kind of just rehashing stuff now to see what's going to come for the 12th. I will have a video on what will be coming on the 12th. If you've missed my live streams, I've been speaking about it a lot. If you want to be in the know or whatever um but yeah let me know what you guys think of this mock-up let me know what you guys think of the color scheme because i do feel that this is going to be it man you've got the yellows very prominent you've got the blues very prominent which they are big fans of 
And then, of course, you do have the, the red, the blue, uh, the light blue or the highlight blue, the orange and the green. It looks to be fairly in track and keeping on brand with the player stats, uh, you know, the, the colors of the, of the players. Like, as I said, if you look in here at this game, you can see here that the cards go from, you know, yellow to, or go from white to yellow to white to yellow to yellow to white. You've got all the stats that are color-coded. You've got the main banner is color-coded. You've got the position uh, trainers, the characteristics, the player skills. All of that is in the pink. So it's kind of like a core four or five, um, you know, that are in there. Now, this did remind me of the old design that they did have where they had all these here. So... Yeah, that was original roadmap that they had way back when, where it was kind of coded and it was like there was a color per console. I've seen a few people talk about this as well. So you had blue for the PlayStation, you had green for the Xbox, you obviously had the pink then for the mobile, with the pink and the purples, and then you had the black and the, the pink for the, uh, for the Steam, right? That could be the same way with this here, um, with this. If it was going to be this here, you could have, let me see if I'm able to do this, um, right? You could have that there as well. So you would have, obviously, the blues for the PlayStation, the green for the Xbox, the reds for the, the mobile, and then, you know, you could have, obviously, the orange for the, for the PC or the Steam. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, lads, we will keep the news coming, but we just need official information now, man. We genuinely do. So... I will see you guys in the next live stream. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're at 50,000 subscribers. Hopefully soon we'll have a massive giveaway for that and a massive giveaway for launch of eFootball as well. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.